In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to create charts and graphs with Canva. Canva is a free tool that you can have access to and you can design any kind of graph starting from bar charts, line and dot charts. You can create interactive charts, even pie charts or infographic charts of different types. So this is a complete free tutorial and it's going to be step by step. I'm going to show you how to create some excellent charts and sometimes you can even import your data from Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets into the same platform and play around with the charts and, and the graphs any kind you can customize to any of the graphs or of the charts that you like from any given data and we're going to learn in detail how to customize some of the chart elements like adding legends adding different kind of colorations as well as adding text and titles to our graphs so at the end of it all we will learn how to export our charts in different formats so that we can add it to our documentation maybe our report writing or any proposal or anything so without taking much of our time let's get started so the first thing you need to do is to come over to canva.com and just uh, hit on canva.com you can check out the link in the description you will find a link where you will get to canva.com and you have to sign up it's free to sign up with canva and once you sign up, you'll be brought into this very platform. Now, if it is presentation that you're trying to create, you can just directly come to presentations or you can on your own search for presentations directly from here. Or you can come to presentations and you can just click. You'll be able to notice that there are different types of presentation, different formats. You can have the sizing from 16 by 9, which is 1920 by 1080 and you have the mobile presentation and you have presentation with four by three and so on you can just go ahead if you don't want any of these sizes you can customize the design specify the width and height and the units of whatever you want to create it's very easy to do that but for this tutorial we're going to start with a very blank presentation that is 16 by 9 so click on this to start the presentation and we we'll brought into this very empty slide so the first thing you need to notice is that there are templates where you can uh, select on any template and you can add and you can customize accordingly to create your own presentation but our own focus for today is just the charts and graphs so to access that you have to come to the apps over here so this is apps and you will be able to see that there are so many things that you can see over here more from canva you can see this is charts these are photos ball creations and so on you can see many many ones and these are popular apps these are ai powered applications that are housed with canva but for our own case our main target for today is charts if you cannot find it in your own graph and your own um, apps you can always come over here and search for charts and you can hit on enter and you'll be able to see it over here charts once you click it's going to open this very platform and you can see different types of charts from bar charts to line charts, line and dot charts, and we have interactive charts, pie charts, like we've explained earlier on, infographics and so on. So depending on your choice and depending on what exactly you're trying to create, let's start with a simple line chart. Once you hit on that simple line chart, it will automatically pop up in your slide. So this is your chart. This is your graph that you've just uh, identified. Now, one thing you should note is to the left, you have this series. Okay, item one levels, and these are series one, series two, series three, depending on what you are trying to create. You can expand this to have a much bigger view of the entire chart and the table properties. You Here you have the preview of what the graph is going to look like. And then here you have some other selection or options to choose from. For example, you can click on this level and you can see what level you are targeting this graph is plotted against uh, between levels versus um, the values okay so you can see we have selected values as uh, you select all or if you want you can select series one series two series three and you can be specific maybe you want to plot only against series one you can now disable series two and you will see that it automatically reflects on your graph but for this case i want to select my levels and i want to plot uh, series one series two and series three on this all chart so you can see everything now showing now down here you can see that you can show the legends 
if you are interested you can show the legend and you can unshow it you can see by selecting show or uh, unshow the legends have appeared and disappeared easily further down you have the option to show labels uh, if you want to show the labels you can show labels or if you want to you don't want to show them you can always tick out and we can see the graph without labels it doesn't actually look good so you have the show grid lines grid lines are just for guidance just for readability you can you may decide to off them if you are certain with what you have or if that is what you want exactly now up here you have to define what kind of series or what kind of charts you are trying to create uh, like over here you can say you can name this as for example you can add the inputs i have defined this level as name of schools and then i've given the names of all the schools that I'm, i want to target for this class and then in the series i want to give maybe months okay enrollment of students into these schools in months for example so let's go and, and give the months all right so we have the distributions name of schools and the enrollments in january in february and in march okay the distribution so you have the option to come over here and select all of this and you can right click and delete uh, these two columns if you are not interested in having them so and again you can see we have the um the, the distributions so over here you specify everything and if you want to upload a csv file you can go ahead and upload it if you don't want you can always come over here and close on this and over here you can come down and you can see that we can upload documents from the csv also and you can uh, upload documents from google sheets as well now another thing you should pay attention to is this coloration this 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 style of the lines okay the distribution of the coloration you can click always click on this and you can select any color of your choice to just highlight all right so we can select on this and you can give this one this color or we can select this one and probably give it a red color all right so i think this is very very perfect and nice and you can see right now our chart has been uh, changed completely now you can click out if you are done and once you select that particular chart you will still see the properties and additionally you can have these settings um, these are other settings that we've shown earlier on you can swap rows and columns if you want to swap rows and columns directly and you can change the, the type of chart also from here by just clicking you can see you can directly make it a stack bar chart or a bar chart or a row a row chart or stacked row chart you can easily make it with just a simple click and you can see right now we have our charts just selected with just a simple click everything has just been changed but i think i i kind of like it something like this so this is okay but then if you want to keep playing around with the features you can keep changing you can see there are donut charts and you can have the uh, pie charts or they are about these are very interesting charts that can actually reveal what you are trying to create within these settings you can have the option to change anything you can show legends and you may decide to show them as we've explained now another thing you can do with this so let's say i kind of like this one and let's go with it this row chart so let's see well the next thing is we can add other details for example you can on your own create another you can add other details as regards the the chart for example you have the color you you can change the coloration and you can increase or decrease the spacing over here you can see right now we can increase or decrease the spacing very easily and then you can change the roundedness you can increase the rounded nature of the curves of the charts okay you can see right now they are more round than before you can see very nicely and you can change the font styles within the text in the charts you can change the font style you can select any font style and you can add directly and then you can add the sizing and the coloration of the text you can bold you can italize and you can animate the charts however you want it during the process if you want it animated for example you can easily animate it directly with this with these features okay very very nicely you can animate and let's say we change this coloration i think i don't like this color let's change this to this and uh, let's give this uh, this color i think this is perfect so we have three different variations very clear and very visible okay so another thing that we can do is we can change the background of the chart for example 
let's say we select the background of the chart and we can come to element over here and you can just search for background all right so we can hit on enter and we can see different types of backgrounds over here depending on your choice and i want to go with graphics and just hit on this this first option now what i want to do to make it my background for this chart is i can right click anywhere and come down here and say set as background and everything is going to be set as my background so this is very easy and you can adjust your chart at any point. So you have a number of things that you can also add to the chart. For example, I may want to add a title to my chart. So to add a title, I can come to text over here and you can add from the template over here, but I can go with the default one, this default text style. I can just click and once I click in, I can just drag this up and double click inside and I can say school enrollment in Zaria. All right, so we can select everything and we can reduce or increase the size of the text. All right, so I think I kind of like this. I can readjust the position here and I can put it here. We can reduce the size more. All right, so it will be better here. And you can play around with this font style. You can Add different kind of font style to this i kind of like this so i keep it like that you can change the coloration as well to any color of your choice if you don't want that color you can always select a particular color of your choice right so let's say i like this color and you can select the text still and have this bunch of features you can underline you can bold italize and strike through and you can even change the caps okay if you want it to be bigger and you can change the alignments, you can make it a bullet list or the about. You have all these text editing features to your advantage. Now, the next thing is let's try to learn how to import data from a .csv file outside of our computer and then see how we can use it to plot a curve or a chart, to plot a graph or a chart with this. So to start, let's have another fresh page or we can come over here and duplicate this one. We can say we duplicate, right click from these three dots, come to duplicate page, and this now is duplicated here. So what we can do is we can select this and delete, and select this also and delete. Uh, we can have our chart enabled here. So we can go straight back to charts, and we can come down to charts. All right, so we can define the type of charts that we want to create. Let's go with a pie chart this time around. Now the source of data that we want to add, you can come directly down here and let's say upload and we can select from anywhere. So let's say the sales of electrical gadgets here, uh, electronic gadgets, I can select on this and you can see just by mere clicking, it has imported the data and it has created my pie chart directly. That's how perfect it can be. And you have this much control. You can grab the option to play around with the data. You have the option to change anything. You can expand this. So you can have the full view also. You can click to adjust the properties, adjust the data inside, and you have it enabled or adjusted. Yeah. Now you have the option to enable the legend. At this moment, I think I don't want the legend, so I can just off it. And you can see right now everything is done. So you can change in the arrangement also, the values, the units, okay, what you have. You have some bunch of controls over here. And once you are setting what you have, you can as well come to the settings and have equal number of accent accent okay these are percentages if you want numbers you can change it to show to show numbers directly i just like it because I, I think i prefer percentage it's much more readable and easy to understand now you have this much features and uh, this coloration and you can click and adjust any of the color and put in any color of your choice depending on what you want to uh, target and create okay so you can adjust the coloration to any color of your choice very easily you can do that all right so this is the power of using this now you can create any chart as we've explained the last thing that i want to show you is how to export your chart in a format that you can add to your report or to your document however you want it so to export all you need is to come to the share button over here you click on share and come down to download and you can check over here, then you see PPTX. I always like to export in PPTX because it's raw. You can adjust the data and you can easily move it to different documentation. So let's say PPTX and let's say I want to import 
the number of pages i want to import all pages except uh, page three okay? it's going to be page one and page two so we can see it done and you can go ahead and download and you see right now i have just downloaded my my powerpoint so you can see it over here so you can right click and open with powerpoint to show you that this is now editable and we can adjust it and add it to our presentations or to any of our reports very easily so you can see it uh, this, this is the first page and you can see everything here is adjustable you can click to adjust the data or the charts so basically this is how to create charts and graphs with canva within canva i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye